Yeah, I, I wasn't really. F yeah, sorry, let's get that. To Got it. Yeah, um, no, I, I wasn't really disappointed with a performance as such for the first twenty. More the first goal because um, we we organised ourselves to be in a low block sometimes and get numbers around Saka and get numbers around Martinelli in those situations and then try and be aggressive and go man for man in others. Um, and we're perfectly in shape. Ball goes to Saka. We've got three or four bodies around him. Um, and he still manages to, to find a way of wriggling through. So, And then slightly hesitant defending in the, in the penalty area. Um, obviously, the, the, the way the game is at the moment, easy to give sort of penalties away. So maybe understandable, but slightly hesitant defending um, from sort of Dorse around Saka. So the first goal was disappointing because something that we'd prepped for and worked hard on and was avoidable. Um, and then the second goal was firstly brilliant from, from Arsenal. I thought the, the speed on the one-two from Zinchenko and whoever else he combined with. Um, but then we were in position to deal with a cutback and one of our yeah, one of the midfielders sort of drifted away from Odegaard and left him on his own. So, But apart from that, the game sort of looked how we'd, how we'd prepped for it to look. We knew it would be tough. We, When you concede two goals, the the place lifts and Arsenal were on the front foot and we struggled to to control the ball and have any spell but um, stuck together and was confident that they'd they'd find their way and that the plan would work and we'd be able to to sort of hold Arsenal in their tracks and try and find our way back into it but um, yeah I was I was pleased in general with what the lads gave because 2-0 down here as we saw on Wednesday night can can turn into a can turn into a long not long 90, 90 odd minutes for you so they yeah the lads did well Okay, missing obviously quite a few big players for the main who started this game. How much of an impact that may have on your plans for the game as well coming to <coughs> Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but I I think it would be yeah, wrong of me. It would be disrespectful of me to talk about the ones that, that aren't here because um all I ask of the group always is that we judge ourselves against against us and what we can produce and the lads gave absolutely everything today and uh, yeah, I mean I, I can sign up for that if if that's what they're gonna give and um, we give our best, and that was as good as we could give today. We we make some small errors, so did Arsenal. You know, Arsenal made an error for our goal. We made a couple. Um, that's part and parcel. But in terms of giving our best and the lads sticking together and being fully committed and trying to execute the game plan, um, yeah, they they, they they got a well done from me. Of course, we, we don't get anything from that points-wise, but hopefully the boys that played take a lot from it. I don't think too many teams will, will be here and, and have Arsenal sort of nervously defending a one goal lead with six, seven minutes to go and putting balls in the box and VAR checks for handball and so we managed to stay in the game and create um yeah, a fairly nervous ending for them. Uh, two goals in two games for from Des Coon as well, four for the Premier League this season. Uh, a positive for seeing Bonnie his team front goal and doing a lot of work on him getting into the right areas. Yeah, excellent, excellent goal and I thought his performance was very good today. I thought um obviously we had a few um, regular starters missing, and a couple of couple of senior ones, and for one, one for Mateus to step up today, you know, is some players that have not played very much, and Mateus needed to step up and give a sort of leader's performance, and I, I thought he did that very well. I thought he tried to drag the team back into things, tried to get on the ball, took responsibility, um, tried to stick to the plan, which is not always easy for him. Um, tried to stick to the plan. Um, and scored a, a wonderful goal off his off his left foot. So um, yeah, really pleased and um, need to get him rested and recovered and, and ready to go again on Tuesday. Uh, how close they started? It seems to be a back issue. Yeah, back tightened up. Um, I think it was the second goal. He sort of landed awkwardly, um, and that, no, it shouldn't be serious. I mean, he he was struggling to kick the ball, so obviously didn't didn't really want defenders taking goal kicks. And Arsenal were aggressive and they forced you back to the goalie quite a bit, so he needed to be able to use his feet. Um, so we could probably have um, sort of got him through it um, at a certain level, but um, best to, to take him off. And big mention to, to Bence as well. I thought he was excellent. You know, made some big saves. Um, difficult job as a number two. You haven't played for ages and get thrown in at the highest level and have to perform. So um, did very very well, but. Yeah, I, I don't envisage too many problems with with Jose being available for for Tuesday. Uh, no, Johnny, as well as that injury issue. 
Yeah, it was just Johnny just well, well, yeah wasn't available for today. So um, yeah, the, the the squad was sort of everyone we had available. So um, yeah, no Johnny today. Was that an injury or was that him? Making no, a yeah, John, Johnny just wasn't available. I mean, I'd rather talk about the players that were here um, today. So I'm sure that there'll be plenty of time to discuss the others when they're when they're back involved or. Um, but prefer to concentrate on the, the lads that were involved, the subs that came on. Fort Pablo had a good impact. Fort. Um, who else came on? Doc did very well. Hugo obviously back um, from his um, absence for six or seven weeks and um, couldn't last the full 90, so we were always going to have to change Hugo. Um, Doc came in and did a very good job as well. Um, Need to try and utilise Sasha better when he comes on and Sasha needs to try and understand his role in it a little bit and try and create some positive momentum for us. But um, yeah, I thought everyone, starters, subs, young lads that travelled as well, um, everyone played a part in in giving as good as we could today and, and we came up slightly short. Uh, just finally, to one almost Quinn on the run for the goal to change things, um, safe to say he'll be getting an opportunity fairly soon. I think you want to see him you know, react to an in-game situation of that, that run. Yeah, I, I do, but at the right time, you know. So it, it might be that he has to wait for his opportunity just because he was close today. It doesn't mean he'll be close on Tuesday. You know, there's yeah situations that, that, that can change things. We'll have some key players back on Tuesday, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it, it shows how well he's done that he was he was in my thinking at that moment. So um, yeah, he's doing very well and um, yeah, he needs to keep working hard in training, keep training with the first team, which will help him get to the level. Um, and I'm... I'm sure you, you guys will get to see him play in a, in a first team game fairly shortly. Okay. You seem to have a conversation with the ref at the end. Is there anything? No, I thought his um, thought his performance was very good. I thought um, like decision making wise, um, very good. Um, just a slight disappointment from me around sort of the, the added time. Not not the amount um, that was put up. More, there was a lengthy stoppage in there, and they told us we'd go to 98, but then Arsenal took. Yeah, 45 seconds over at least three, I think three, three kicks they had. Um, so just felt they could have managed the time better for us and we could have got all the allotted time. I think the ball was out of play for so much of that sort of last six minutes that we got. Um, that I felt some some should have been added on. And sometimes you, you don't expect Arsenal to be time wasting, but I'm sure if we'd have taken as long over some, some of the throws and some of the restarts and um, away at the Emirates, we'd have, we'd have been receiving yellow cards. So... Yeah, it was just after the the time that we felt we should have had, and no criticism of Arsenal. If it was me, I'd have, I'd have had my team taking their time at that moment as well. But felt to only get to ninety eight and a half when um, it was already going to be ninety eight was was probably a bit short of where it should have been. That's all. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, guys.